Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Rachel and Red. This is day five of summer haul week for holiday clothes. I hope you've been enjoying the rest of the, <laughs> the whole week. I don't know if many of you have been catching up on days one to four. This is the final day of haul week. Of haul week. Uh, so today's video is a Georgia Asda. So if you can see that, correctly. Um, so as you all know, George is a supermarket brand. They sell online, hence I bought the clothes online. I do have an Asda near me, but the clothes section isn't as great as online. Sadly, Tesco is my favorite supermarket shop to shop at, but they don't do online anymore. And I did consider going through Sainsbury's, but money for one and time as well. So today is a George Asda haul. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So I'm gonna do this video a little bit different and show you the clothes first and then insert clips of me trying it on mainly because I'm so hot that actually trying all the clothes on whilst I'm filming is quite difficult because I'm just sweating all the time. So anyway, first up we have this, I think it looks like a zebra print dress, but it's actually a leaf print. Let me get a bit closer there. 16 pounds. I thought this would be good for evenings. Dining on the beach has got to slip up to here. Buttons at the front. It's actually quite a good quality material as well. Uh, everything I bought was in a size 18, I believe. Yep, yeah, size 18. Um, yeah, I think it's really lovely. I think it flows nice as well. I like the tie, nice thick straps, and a quite a good length as well. Yeah. So item number two is this. I don't know, really, uh, just a white top. Um, looking at it now, I'm not so keen on items that have a bit of an elasticated bit here, mainly because I feel like it sits here. And then it just hugs my belly and it just makes it more prominent and I don't really want to do that on a holiday. Um, love the sleeves, got a bit of a elasticated sleeve there. Square neckline, this is also a size 18. I think it'd be quite a good, everyone else do this in the shops. We can't bother to try something on. So obviously I'll try it for you guys, but yeah, I think it might be a little bit tight around here, but we'll see. I have also just had dinner, which is probably not the way to film. Yeah. So the next item is this jumpsuit. I have recently began to trust jumpsuits because I'm quite short, or I'm quite, yeah, short in the height, <laughs> short in height, but I obviously like things hug my belly more, so I feel like things ride up, a bit like places. They ride up, the short bits are riding up, and then it's camel toe issues, and we don't want that. But recently I found a couple of jumpsuits that sit perfectly. So one, uh, you might have seen on my Instagram, if not, head over there, at Rachel in Red. Uh, it's a black one from Warehouse with like thin straps and I always wear it with a t-shirt underneath because it is not one to wear without a top. Um, and another one, actually also from Warehouse. Um, have I still got it? Might be bringing it on holiday with me if it still fits, so. It's kind of similar to this, but thick, like much thicker straps and a V-neck crossover bit, but it's lovely. Um, yeah, so back to the item, it's leaf brain. This one's actually obviously green. 20 pounds. I love the, the legs are quite voluminous. Um, good length as well. Obviously you'll see on the try and clip. I really like the print, the back detailing as well. It's got this tied back, elasticated middle bit as well, which is quite nice, and a tie there as well. It's at the front, but I can presume you can just put it at the back. So yeah, that's this one. Next up we have these trousers, just black trousers, elasticated, with a very cute little dangly gold at the end of the tie. It's gonna focus, yep. £12.50, these yeah, these are coming to the angles. I bought these mainly because I don't really have many pairs of trousers, but I don't really want to chafe on holiday. However, I have seen a lot of influencers pushing that anti-chafe stick, but I'm gonna buy that body glide. Um, I'll link that down below if I can remember to. It's really good for runners. My boyfriend wants to buy it for the areas that chafe on him, but I've heard great things about chafing. People go on holiday. For the first time in like 30 years without having to wear trousers and everything, which makes me really happy. So, yeah. 
Those are those trousers. And next we have these cute, I guess kind of paper bag style yellowy shorts. They are yellow. Uh, tie at the front, kind of like a broderie anglais. Uh, elasticated back. These were £10. What I've just noticed though is either it's from the warehouse or someone's tried them on and left them on the floor or something but it's got these marks here Ooh, nothing else. Um, yeah which is a bit annoying but we'll see I don't I don't really wear shorts on holiday mainly because once again they'll sit here but then they'll just ride up and it's like I'm wearing hot pants and no one needs to see that so yep, I'll give these a try, see what they're like. So I've just opened the second bag and I'm a little bit concerned how much I bought slash how much I'm spending. So I spent on this little haul, it's not so little, uh, 226 pounds. Uh, probably won't be keeping everything. So there's my bank balance, it is hope. Um, yeah, anyway, so next up is this little, here comes the sun top. This I think would be quite cute with the trousers. The black trousers I showed you, just a white top, I think it'd be a nice good length, really good quality, I love the turned up sleeves, size 18, 88 pounds, you can wear this after your holiday as well, perhaps not in winter, but you never know. Anyway, another pair of shorts, these are a stripy kind of print, 10 pounds, relaxed chino, Max is with me now, he's intrigued about all the clothes obviously. Uh, yeah, see what these are like. I think these would be good for any kind of excursions and things like that. So that's quite good. Next up, we have this cute little skirt. Now, I never wear skirts, mainly because chafing, but I've got my shorts on today. Um, and as I said, I'm going to be buying the body glide stick, so. I think that'll eliminate any kind of chafe issues I'll have, fingers crossed. If not, I've got my shorts. Bought these shorts, by the way, there again. Uh, from Big Bloomer Company. Best shorts ever. I should have like bulk bought, but I've got one pair and I'm constantly washing them. So perhaps it's time to invest in a couple, especially for holiday. No one wants to wear those 10 days in a row. Anyway, we have this skirt. I think it's quite a cute length. It's kind of like a wrap style well, this wrap kind of yeah uh with the two patterns as well and like a tie to the side like a fake a fake wrap skirt because it's a fake tie well it's a tie but fake tie um yes yeah, so that's really cute excited to try that on another pair of shorts here i really went in on the shorts this time very funky print i feel like it's a very like <laughs> a shirt print you're into like a Maybe not a shit shirt party, but if you're going to one of those kind of like shirt parties, I feel like this is the type of print shirt you want to go for a Hawaiian barbecue. But I like the floatiness, I feel like these would be good on the beach as well. Uh, quite relaxed, so I think these would be quite nice. Sun's going in a bit now. Uh, <laughs> next we have this, I think it's a linen blend, if it says on here. Um, I'm not sure, I think it's like a linen blend or, yeah. Uh, it's actually a jumpsuit. The crotch seems really low. Is that me? Oh, it must. I don't know. Uh, it's got kind of like a small cap sleeve. I really, really like the print of this. I think that's really, really nice. It has a tie again here. It's really, really cute. Zip at the back as well. Yeah. We're already 15 minutes in and I've still got some bits to go. So, anyway, I bought this. I thought this is really cute for like throwing over your head for throwing on when you're at the beach and you're kind of like yeah let's go grab a drink at the bar and it's not a swimmer bar I don't think there are swimmer bars at this hotel but I thought this is really cute polka dot really cute polka dot it's got um like the tights like a tie detailing at the back which is really really nice yeah next we have this I guess you kind of call it like a a dusky kind of pink interwoven with like this kind of bluey grey. I'll bring it close as you can kind of see. The blues and the greys and the pink. It is a, a neckline that's kind of like tightened, but you can't actually tighten it. It's just like a fake effect tighten. Um, can't put this over my head. It's floor length. Not uh, so keen on the material. It feels kind of cheap, like 
I'm trying to polyester feel. It does look really cute though. I think it'd be great on the beach. I'm not sure if it's a bit too high neck. The cut of this, I'm not sure if this is gonna look nice on this area of me, but we'll see. Now I bought this one, not for beach holiday, but more for work. I thought it'd be really cute for work. Now summer's coming. I don't know if you guys have heard, but it's meant to be getting up to like 34 degrees, especially in London next Wednesday. And I think it peters out towards the end of the week, maybe Friday, Saturday or Sunday, about 18 degrees. But 34 degrees, this isn't really a 34 degree dress. But anyway, it's really cute and I'm excited to try it on. I think it'd be great for summer. It has got some slits at the front, but they're not gonna be like the, like the top shop dress. The slits when they come up to here. A friend has that dress that everybody's wearing. I'll try and insert a picture. And the slits literally come up to here. She's had to have them like pulled down to here. Um, so yeah, so that's that dress. And the last thing I'm trying on is this kind of like a handkerchief style skirt. It's in a stripey print. It's got a zip at the side, tie at the front. I think that's the front. Um, as you can see, kind of, I don't know what you'd, what you'd call that. I can just think of handkerchief style, but yeah, so that's quite cute. This is the last one I'll be showing you. Um, so hopefully <laughs> some nice things here. Um, Max wants to get in there. So yeah, probably not the best outfit to finish the video on because literally the top and the skirt do not go together at all. I just tuck it in to make it a little bit more presentable. Tucking everything else in as well. I'll leave it as is. So anyway, that was my George at Asda haul for summer. I think I've got some really nice cute pieces and it was a way to showcase what Georgia ads are offering in the minute and it's actually a lot more high quality than I expected. I actually liked a lot more of the items than I thought I would as well. I feel like George, like any supermarket brand, is quite hit and miss. The fit isn't always that great as well. And like some of the things in this haul as well, they haven't fit the best. I think the yellow shorts look nice but they're just, they just weren't for me. That first jumpsuit, the green leaf print jumpsuit. Hello camel toe, squashed boobs, no. But the second jumpsuit, the one with the flowers, the linen style one, fit perfectly and it was lovely. But I think that was a little bit too heavy for summer. Um, like I said, I'm sweating now and I'm not even in a 35 degree heat. So I really like the t-shirt saying here comes the sun. I'm definitely keeping that as well as the floaty flary shorts. I think they were really cute. I think that would go nice together, just like a casual, you know, we're just gonna pop to the hotel restaurant, so we're gonna wear casual clothes because you don't have to dress up. So I think that would be quite a nice outfit for lunch, you know what I mean? What else did we have that I really, really liked? That dress, the pink, grey, with the grey and blue lined through it, I really like that. I'm never too keen on that, do you call it a dropped hem, where the hem sort of sits here and then it keeps going down? Never been so keen, and it, it wasn't that bad on the the armpit fat. Do you want to? Fat there's a name for it. Just this area here. We've had dresses before where it just cuts in, and you're kind of like, this isn't flattering for me. So this top, although it, I think it's meant to sit here, I'm not keen on it. And the skirt, although I like the style of it, it's not for me. So I think that's going to go back. But everything else. Quality was great. The styling is really good. I think the prints are really good as well. So I really like those. And on that note, I'm going to end this haul here. Thank you for joining me. And thank you if you joined me on all five of my haul days this week. It's been a real pleasure to film every day and edit and get into the swing of things. So hopefully as time goes on, my editing will get a bit better and there'll be more flow to things. But you know, it's a learning process. I'm still new to this and I'm having fun. So... If you want to see more of me, then I usually post a video every Monday. So it'd be great if you could subscribe and like the video. Please comment down below as well what you liked. That'd be fantastic. And I've told you to subscribe. <laughs> and, you know, hit that notification bell if you want to know exactly when I upload as well. That'd be good. And so thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.